She's still running, Joe. That knocking on wood's helping, ain't it? Keep knocking. Keep knocking. Woo! Boys, it's Monday. Monday, Monday, fun day, Monday. And we're on Joe's truck. And Another it's great day. Joe's All-Star 2 Monday. So you guys stick around. how y'all doing i hope y'all had a good weekend i know sunday got pretty cool in the morning for it us was cold sunday that was crazy the, weather man that was the day i cut the grass i was wearing cold hat yeah it was definitely cold long socks it's like what the heck i get done of course then the sun come off go from 100 degrees to 40 uh, that sucks. but anyways um and I forgot who it was, but the guy that mentioned uh, saw saw with the saw blades, I love that idea. Um, I didn't get to try it, but I'll be doing that this weekend. You need to use them saw blades you cut through them nails with. That, that's yeah, exactly. I have I have the blades. blades. So, um, what was the name of those? Um, torch, carbide okay. carbide bullet carbide blade tips. So if you guys may not have watched that video, because it's been a long time ago, uh, Joe had a some, roll card roll or toolbox cards. or something shipped here, and they had the, the pallet. Everything was screwed and nailed down with it. So Joe comes out here and gets one of these Milwaukee Sawzalls and goes in there with a torch blade. <laughs> just eat them nails and just screws went, smooth up. <laughs> didn't even know we hit them. It's like... Whoa! Like, look wow. how Clay's face was. Yeah, that works. And it wasn't even gonna show the blades. Remember, you was just cutting it off the pallet, and yeah. I said, "Let me see them blades on that yep. thing," because it worked. Yep, they work. Sometimes Definitely. you forget the tools you have. Yep. And that was a week I was talking about tools, and I go, "Yeah, all the stuff I use, but you know what else I used a whole lot? That pocket pry bar. Yep. I use that almost." Every weekend, if I'm doing something, mm -hmm. I'm putting that bad boy to use. It's go. amazing. So, I always have plenty of them right here. I always got plenty of them up here. So, uh -huh. we have them. But before we get too far, we got to have everybody's favorite here. Mm -hmm. We have Bucket of Cash. We have Peter Christop for one. We have... James Watkins for two. Now, he okay. usually doesn't jump in there, but uh, I got to mention James Watkins. When we had the last party you had out here, yep. him and Mr. Griffin, they came out here, and I was getting set up, and next thing I knew, they were, they were helping me, and they mm -hmm. stuck around by me all day. Those are some good they, guys. Right I, I, I cannot thank them guys enough. Definitely. And their families, and... In fact, they even gave their him something for his daughters that mm -hmm. one day, that one year, and um, yeah. So, Mr. James Hawkins, there's we got, two, two we of them for you. pulled into a golfing round with us this last time, so it was fun. And we have Mr. Chad Johnson for one, too. Right. So that's new. And if we go up here, oh, look at this. What oh, happened? Somebody empty. ate my bucket of cash. Empty. Somebody done got drawed. We have Mr. Brian Hines, uh -huh. one to bucket of cash. What was the total on that? So, let me feel how much it weighs. Probably I don't think it would float. Pound and a half. I don't, I don't think it would float. So, I was getting a little ratty, so I had Judy make up some new stuff. And being kind of see through there, I left the original thing I had written down on there, or just yellow piece of paper, mm -hmm. my uh, uh, magic marker on there. It was 2012 when I first started this. Wow. So it's a tradition. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's a list uh, we saved. And there's a new list that's that's starting here. And here's one of the other ones from 2014. The other one just got two tore up. But kept that there. That's but, pretty uh, cool. 369 smackaroonies. Nice. 
So it's a good day for Mr. Brian Hines. And I show that up. old bucket's held a bunch of money over the years, on it? It does. I keep thinking I need to write, uh, talk to my tax guy. I'm pretty sure that's a promotional thing. <laughs> <coughs> Not that I don't give enough stuff away. But, there we go. So if y'all ever get a dollar bill and it's got somebody's name written on the top of it, there's a good chance it come from right there. <laughs> so. No, it came from one of my great customers. Yeah. That's where it come from. So, um, answer another question a few people had. The Steel Vision, that's the name, make the ones that I carry. They're made of tungsten and cobalt both okay mac mac ones were just cobalt they sell them for a couple hundred dollars more than i sell them for so these are actually tougher i got them for 380 okay nobody heard me say that before 380 there 380 so what's the warranty on those there's really not but i haven't had anybody have to have me get any other uh replacement ones except yeah. for one guy he let somebody borrow them and i go you let somebody borrow them he goes yeah joe i did well i go that's all right so he broke a little one on there i just got him one and gave it to him and the no warranty became a warranty it happens you uh you take care of your guys I do my. I try to do my best. Well, you got something new and cool up here. Look what we got here. Mm -hmm. We have more coking. Okay, I didn't hear anything. Maybe I said mm -hmm. it right. You said it right that time. <laughs> I, was, I had to pause. Long reach, grip lock. It's got the two balls in there. Manly us two balls. Mm -hmm. So you got sizes seven sixteenths, half inch, nine sixteenths, eight ten, eight ten. And 12 millimeter for working around turbo somewhere long reach where you gotta get in there not drop a, a nut or a bolt yeah. somewhere where you can't get your fingers in there to reach and grab stuff this holds on to your nuts and bolts for you and there's I had a couple other guys talk about working around uh, some spark plugs and stuff where their long sockets were not long enough to reach what they needed to do so well, I know like the band clamps on the charge air coolers and you know any of the the long band clamps you know where it's that deep threaded that you got to do just those are those are the the, the key tool to there, have right there. there's a deep hole in there look at that yeah see there Ooh. i heard some guy when i did my video he's talking about using them for bumper bolts and this and that which i ain't no body guy don't want to do no body work i definitely don't have the patience for body work but hey whatever there we go work. so so what's the price on them bad boys and i know it too uh oh maybe it'll come back to you maybe 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 yep maybe 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 so here's joe's Coking collection while he's looking up the price. 2726Z. That's the regular one. Quarter inch. Same part number. Add three eighths for the three eighths. And then he's got a little bit longer flex here. It's a 2726Z 160 three eighths. So. so 120 on these here. 220 okay. on these here. Bit off. That would hurt me. Okay. Um, and we're going to talk about Hoken Collection. Some more. We have a few more, so. There you go. Um, so, I got a few sets of these, 220. I got a uh, bit of a drawer full over here. Yeah. So we got more, if you need more. Good. We have, where was I going to go? You see the box right there behind you. Mm -hmm. Lift up the box cover. I have some thin sockets. Yep, we that's got the quarter, quarter inch, inch drive, deep and shallow, fraction metric, the ratchet. Now 
I got quarter inch there. I got three eighths drive over here. I got several sets of each. So that's the SMS 400. If you guys are looking for and that, SMS that's the 600, 600 is the three eighths drive set. Yep. So they are 180 and 280. 180, 280. There you go. So this one is a 3726Z280, so that means it's probably 12 inches or so. I'll set that up there where you guys can kind of see all of them side by side. And then he's got a swivel head. And that part number is a 3776J. I'm telling you. That is the tightest swivel head ratchet. Now we'll just put these there you go. here because they will not make it otherwise. Not here. So let me let y'all hear what you're working with. Very nice. Swivel head's a little more coarse, but probably has to be. And we got some Power Probe 3s. Oh, that's the carbon. Very nice. Power Probe 3s, the kits with the box with the 20 foot cable, 20 foot extension, and uh, I believe it's uh, 185 on these. Okay. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Some triple squares, yeah. Triple square, the deep ones. Uh-huh. Very nice. Yeah, look how long them bad yep. boys are. What is that, XZN 400? Oh, damn, son. Am I not giving us a part number? Look at that. Yep. You need to show this. CMH4. Yep. Oh, that made him open. So this, guys, is from Vim. It is the concealed carry magnet. So this thing right here is really, really, really good. Um, obviously, it's a magnetic gun holder and they put a rubberized uh, kind of shell that goes around it. It comes with the mounting screws or some 3M tape and that way you can put it up there. 3M tape right here. You got something heavy, Joe, where we can show just how strong this magnet is. There's the 3M tape. What I'm looking for is... Find us something good and heavy. Light right there, let's try that. I know that'll hold it. I was just gonna grab. Yeah. That thing 50 sounds ounce, a weird 50, off balance. 50 but it ounce hammer. Hold nope. I pulled it off myself. My bad. Let's try that again. This thing is really strong. As long as I keep the angle, it'll hold it. 50 ounce hammer. But that will definitely have no problems. Holding like a 21 Glock or But what I also know is it's strong enough that if you don't have one in a chamber, it will rack one. Mm -hmm. Which. So you, you know will, you guys you, you can may, mount that up under something and. Yep. Let it rack eat. it. It's by your steering wheel, by your headboard mm -hmm. on your bed. Those are really, really, really nice. Yeah. And it won't scratch your, your finish up. So like if you got a, a nice Kimber. Gonna, Something, yep. It ain't gonna mess it so up. So I got a bunch of these. They're 45 bucks. There you go. Got plenty of them. So that's something good everybody needs. Really nice kit right there. There's that 3M piece that goes back in. Oops, yep. Yeah. Make sure you get that back in there. <laughs> So it even comes with the anchors 
and the screws so you guys can mount that thing however you see fit but it definitely works 100 percent that it does i've sold plenty of them and you guys are very happy with them i actually got one for somewhere else and one for the wife yeah they work and he's got some more of the grip edge hits so you guys yep been looking for that and I got plenty of stuff pre-ordered, stuff that uh, not available yet, but I always have stuff already, mm -hmm. always pre-ordered, always waiting for it to get here. I know me and Joe talked off camera. He'll have the uh, the socket extractors. They should be in, I think Wednesday is what he was saying. So you guys that seen my video that wanted some socket extractors. There's a grip edge. Joe's gonna have Close. them. So. so. That's I, always planning, always having something coming up next. There's never a dull moment. There you go. So thank you for everything. Um, have a great week. Keep safe out there. As you need, give me a call or text. There you go. Joe's number's right down here at 731-412-7295. Shoot him a text, and he will get back with you. Like always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Today is finally the end of Monday. Thank God. You per timer. So. <laughs> I don't work half days, Joe. Half days is 12 hours. All right, guys. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Y'all have a great rest of your week. See ya.